Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. At this time we are talking about setting up CDH5 uh, on AWS. So far we have provisioned 7 EC2 instances from AWS running CentOS on them. Then we have set up parallel SSH. Then we have uh, set up HTTP server on master01. And also we have configured local M repository on master01. As part of this video, what we will do is using parallel SSH, we will set up the prerequisites on all the nodes. So what are those prerequisites which we need to set up on all the nodes? We need to disable SE Linux. We have to set, set UMask to 022. We have to set up uh, NTPD. We have to disable IP tables and IP6 tables. And we have to disable sloppiness. And also we might have to create some Hadoop users uh, to increase no file and, and NPROC limits which are U limit. So, um, uh, typically we will use some tools uh, to do that. One of the simplest tools which we can use for this purpose is parallel SSH. So, instead of going on to each and every node and running these commands individually, we can use parallel SSH uh, which we have already set up to actually run these commands. So, you can get to the script that needs to be executed by going to my GitHub code, GitHub Digad Raju code and in this you can go to Hadoop administration Cloudera scripts and in this let me see this one prerequisites Actually, there is better script. I think it is under Hortonworks. Hortonworks scripts setup cluster. So prerequisites are almost same for Hortonworks uh, as well as this one. If you click on prepare node.sh, here you can see that we are uh, setting the umask to 022, which means that all files will be uh, using a 755 while being created. If you don't understand what you mask is, it's better to explore. It's a Linux based uh, uh, Linux based concept uh, which give permissions on files uh, created by uh, the users which we are going to use to set up the cluster. And then we are we have to disable the SE Linux. We have to set up NTPD so that all the uh, NTPD stands for Network Transfer Protocol D for Daemon Process uh, by running NTPD on all the nodes. Uh, uh, the time will be in sync. All of the uh, all of the nodes will be pointing to same time server, and all of them will be in sync. Then we have to turn off uh, IP tables and IP6 tables. We have to disable swappiness so that uh, uh, the process the uh, uh, the Hadoop process does not use the swap space, which can uh, result in uh, degraded performance. And then towards the end, we we want to set the file handle limit. So we have to copy this entire script. Okay. And then uh, uh, log into the host on which you want to run this. And you have to log in using SSH minus CA like this. After adding the key by running SSH hyphen add minus K, if it is Mac, for Windows it is little bit different. Um, for that one uh, actually you can go through my videos uh, I think uh, SSH for, uh, forwarding this is for Windows and this is for Mac that being said uh, I am logging in onto the host and creating a directory called setup cluster mkdas setup cluster cd setup cluster va prepare node.sh paste the script
make sure you don't have these unnecessary lines so it's better to come out of it and now launch it again and then only copy paste from here to here rather than using select all so now we have only the right lines of code okay now save it exit from here and now we have to run this prepare node.sh script on multiple nodes in the cluster and the nodes ip address start from 242 and uh, go through 43 44 45 46 47 and 48 seven nodes from 42 to 48 so here i am creating a hosts file host.txt and i am giving this uh, host names so make sure you copy the correct host names instead of just uh, adding the way i am doing for that you can go to aws console and uh, look into this private dns section you can actually expand uh, expand that one just give me a minute okay it, it, it got sorted into descending order now i am resorting it into ascending order then i have to yeah you can see it is 242 through 248 so what i can do is i can copy paste eight uh, seven times r3 r4 r5 r6 r7 r8 and it is saved and now we have to first scp this uh, uh, prepared node.sh onto all the nodes in the cluster and then we we have to change the permissions on that file and then we have to execute for that again you can go to uh, my uh, my uh, my my uh, github code and in this case we are using centos so you can actually pick up the code from here okay so select these few lines of code and uh, name it as vi setup centos.sh so we are trying to set up prerequisites onto centos and here we can see that pscp hyphen v hyphen l root hyphen h we have to give the text file in this case the text file which have the host name is nothing but hosts.txt so whatever name we have given there we have to use it and then we we are trying to execute the script with script, uh, strict host key checking equal to no and this is the file which we are trying to copy uh, from uh, from the local uh, gateway node to this location on all the hosts in the cluster and then we would like to execute the same script so here also we need to change it to hosts.txt okay and uh, uh, again we are setting strict host key checking equal to no uh, ch mod so we are changing the permission on prepare node.sh on all the nodes uh, by adding execute permissions and then we are actually executing the script we are redirecting everything to the dot log file and in the end we are rebooting the uh, all the uh, seven hosts it means we are rebooting the hosts and this script will be run on the all the seven nodes which will execute this prepare node.sh and reboot save it chmod x setup centos.sh and ls minus ltr uh, the owner have the permission of execute on the script and we have to just run this one 
first it is copying the prepare node dot sh on all to the nodes on all the nodes and uh, uh, it has executed the script and it has rebooted uh, all the instances one of the instance is 242 itself even that one is restarted that's why um, it is exited to the um, to my mac uh, as it has executed the reboot it will take a while uh, to reboot the host once it is rebooted we will validate so by now it should have been done i am logging in onto the host and now you can see that uh, even though the original prepared node.sh script was under setup cluster now it is copied to um, uh, uh, to slash root because as part of the script it is using this location to copy that script and then a log file is also created you can look at the log to see if everything is done successfully or not okay so it seems everything is successful it has set up the umask it, it, it has disabled the SE linux it has set up ntpd it has uh, disabled ip tables and ip6 tables it has uh, disabled swappiness and also it has set file handle limits okay so everything looks good so we have we are done with prerequisites and we will validate on few of the nodes one of the validation is you can go to etc SE linux config and see if SE Linux is disabled or not. It is disabled. And uh, another thing is you can see whether NTPD is uh, running or not by running service NTPD status or NTP status, I guess. Okay, NTP is not successful. So we need to install NTP on all of them. Okay, so it is very important to validate even though it has. Uh, 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 even though it is uh, it is written to be successful one way one more check we will do is ps hyphen ef grep ntp okay as yeah, there is no ntp it, it didn't actually work so what we will do is we will go to setup cluster ls hyphen ltr vi setup centos dot sh sorry vi prepare node dot sh and here first we will say m hyphen y install ntpd so that ntpd is installed successfully so we will run this script again again it will be disabled oh, sorry again it will be rebooted because um, we have the reboot command in the end ok so it will take a while again for reboot once it is rebooted we will review it again so by now it might have rebooted now let us validate Okay, now let us validate whether NTPD is set up or not. I think it is NTPD, not NTP. What? Still it is not. Grep NTP. It is still not set up. I think the command is NTP, not NTPD. Yes. So this is the reason why. Uh, there is a bug in the script so it is very important to validate vi prepare node.sh here we have to say ntp not ntpd but rest, uh, the daemon process is ntpd only uh, only the software name is ntp after that the check config and uh, ntpd hyphen q to configure to default server and to start the NTP service, we have to use service NTPD start. Now we will run it again.
so let us log in again and now validate by running service ntpd status I hope uh, it will show up positive this time it is running and we will validate on some other host also 172, 31, 53, 240, 246, dot ec2 dot internal service ntpd status and it is running. So I think that is enough but as you are doing first time make sure you validate everything uh, uh, that is highlighted in the script such as view prepare node dot sh uh, uh, umask SL, disabling of sc linux um, setting up of ntp ip tables again ip tables also you can say service ip table status and then uh, you can also check uh, this file proc system vm swappiness to see if vm swappiness is there or not so better to go through all the uh, validations at least on few of the nodes in the cluster so this is how you can actually use uh, parallel ssh and run the prerequisites to set up the cluster that being said after the prerequisites are done we will start with uh, uh, the actual setup of Cloudera Manager as part of the next video. We will understand what Cloudera Manager is all about and then we will uh, set up uh, on AWS. So if you like this video, please click, click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. If you want to discuss further about the certifications or big data, uh, please join my LinkedIn groups such as ITVersity hyphen uh, certifications or it versity hyphen big data and uh, finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so and if you live in uh, countries such as uh, us and uk where uh, youtube fan funding is supported please uh, uh, visit my channel and start supporting you will see the support the channel section and the subscribe button when you visit my channel page uh, only if uh, you, are, you, you live in a country such as us and uk where uh, uh, support the channel or fan funding is uh, allowed. Thank you. Bye.